In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at non-Newtonian fluids. But first of all, we're going to take a quick look at what a Newtonian fluid is so we can better understand what a non-Newtonian fluid is. So, the definition of a Newtonian fluid is a fluid whose viscosity is dependent only on its temperature and pressure and doesn't change dependent on the force acting on it. Um, for example, for all intents and purposes, um, water is a Newtonian fluid. And as you can see, as I drop the spoon onto the water, it acts like a liquid throughout the process. They're splashing and the spoon is admitted straight down into the substance. There are two uh, behaviours expressed by non-Newtonian fluids, shear thickening and shear thinning. This is an example of shear thickening, where when the force is applied to it, the substance's viscosity increases, so it acts like a solid. And when the force is reduced, it acts more like a liquid, allowing the substance to flow over the spoon. In this example, we used a 2 to 1 ratio of corn flour and water. Um, this particular kind of non-Newtonian fluid or class non-Newtonian fluid is called um, dilatantis. And this is because the viscosity is dependent on the force applied to it, um, not the amount of time the force is applied to it. Here's a good demonstration of um, uh, dilatantis again, where if you note, as my finger moves across, it acts like a solid and it almost shatters. And then as the force is not being applied anymore, it acts once more like a liquid. The second type of non-Newtonian fluid which expresses the property of shear thickening is called rheopatic. Um, but this time, unlike uh, dilatantis, uh, the difference in viscosity is dependent upon the length of time for which the force is applied. An example of this is whipping cream, where the longer you whip it, the thicker it will get. And if you leave it, it will turn back, it will become less viscous. But the more time you whip it, the more viscous it will become. The second property expressed by non-Newtonian fluids is that of shear thinning, which is where the fluid will flow more easily, i.e. become less viscous when energy is applied to it. Here, this kind of non-Newtonian fluid is called thick thixotropic, um, which is where the viscosity is dependent on the amount of time uh, the force is applied. And this is a good example with honey. If I pour it, the longer um, it's being poured for, the more liquid it will become, the less viscous it will be. And this is because the force of gravity is providing a sustained force upon the honey. The last kind of non-Newtonian fluid is called pseudoplastic, which is where the instantaneous force will make it less viscous, more liquid. A good example of this is ketchup, where if you shake the bottle, it becomes more liquidy. Finally, there's a lot of fun you can have with non-Newtonian fluids. Um, coming back to that um, dilatantis example of the cornflower solution, two parts of cornflower to one part water mixed up, um, if you place it on a speaker, obviously protect the speaker with something like cling film, and put a sine wave or a constant beat through the speaker, then you can have an awful lot of fun. So obviously it will thicken with the instantaneous force when the speaker rebounds, but then it will relax and become more liquidy, so you can create almost like um, monsters uh, with the cornflower solution. Um, so it's kind of fun um, and you get different effects through different um, frequency sine waves. Hope you found this um, explanation tutorial interesting or useful. Um, and if you have, don't forget to give those give me the thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And of course, if you want to keep up to date with the videos, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.